The early days were really fun because it was not too crowded and the police weren't really bothering much. LeVar had a little chess set that he'd bring down, this like roll out chess set and people would play chess in the blocks. There was a lot of CeeLo going on, a lot, of, a lot of gambling. I remember Chico would always cheat. He'd always turn the dice when people weren't looking. And I remember Carl Watson would always seem to be losing money, which felt it was sad because he's such a nice guy. But that was that was a good opportunity to buy uh, wheels or something or a used board for really cheap when the CeeLo games came out because people would lose all their money and then they'd sell off some wheels for you know seven bucks. I got one ticket. I think it was for seventy five dollars, and I had to go before a judge with my mom, and she uh, tried to get me to promise to quit skateboarding. The judge did, yeah. yeah. Tony was great. He was a great boss. We had fun trips and stuff. And he's a good skater. Not as good as the owner of this company. <laughs> the first time I went to ASR and the only time, I was staying in a room. I was staying on the floor of a hotel with Sam Smythe. Lee Smith was there, another guy. Mike Carroll showed up at one in the morning after the Capone Noriega show. He was completely drunk. And he started wrestling with Sam Smythe. Somehow they both ended up in their boxers. Mike threw a chair at Sam. Sam eventually threw Mike out. Mike got mad, grabbed Sam's Gucci hat, threw it in the toilet. Sam punched Mike in the mouth really hard. He had to wear a retainer or something for a long time. And I remember asking Sam about it, about why he punched his one of his best friends in the mouth. And he said he was mad and, and asked him still why he why he did it. And he said, you know, sometimes you just you just get lucky. You know, you throw that punch and you get lucky. No. Someone has to have a college degree. Mike Burnett? No? Yeah. Yes. Glad to see you. I had a funny dream and you were wearing funny shoes.